Hey, what is on guys? Claudio. Now before I get into the video, I would like to let you guys know about my giveaway that I'm currently running. It is for a Supreme and North Face keychain, so you guys do want to win that giveaway. You guys can go enter it in the description down below. And I will also leave a link to go enter it in the comments down below. So wherever you guys want to go find it, it's going to be there. If this video does help you guys out, then please drop a like down below. I really appreciate that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's start the tutorial, if you want to call it a tutorial. So PayPal is like really useful for when you're selling on a platform that doesn't have like a built-in selling method, if it's not like a selling website. So let's say you sell it on a forum page, you sell it on like Discord, you sell it on Instagram, anything like that, Reddit, then you'll definitely want to use PayPal to pay for your products or to sell your products because it's very popular if you have it and it is very, very safe if you're a buyer. Okay, so when it comes to using PayPal to like buy and sell Supreme, you really kind of have like three options. I'm just gonna give like a quick rundown of each method and then I'm gonna like go more in depth on them after I go through every method. First you have gifted or also known as like friends and family. Next up you have goods and services and then finally you have invoice. So the first method I'm gonna go more in depth in is invoice because the majority of your sales are probably gonna be through this method. So after you work out your sale and everything and you agreed on a price and everything like that, then the seller will go on PayPal and they'll write an invoice. And I'll put on screen right now like an example of like a well-written invoice. This is like a more outdated image so I will post like an example of like the, what the current one looks like but it's the same information you just gotta fill it, it just looks a bit different but it still asks you for the same information and everything so just type that all in. That is just an example of like how would you do it and just fill it out correctly and you'll be fine. And then after you fill it out you send it to the buyer. And then the buyer will have to like look through the invoice, make sure everything looks good. And all they do is they'll just pay it. And after they pay it, you'll receive the money and everything is good. And with an invoice, as a buyer, you get the protection. Like if they don't send you the item that's listed as the invoice, then you can request a dispute. Let's say you get a fake item or anything like that. If you can prove that, then you can just dispute it and you'll get your money back. Now as a seller, you get the protection of like what you filled out, you know what I mean? So if you fill it out nicely and you don't like lie or anything, then you should be fine. But it is PayPal and the buyer does have like an advantage if they want their money back. Like that's how PayPal works. The buyer has a really, really big advantage when it comes to like disputes with them and chargebacks that they usually win it. But generally, as long as you are very honest and maybe you even put some pictures, then you should be fine when using invoice. The next method that I'm gonna recommend is the second most popular method probably and that is gifted or also known as friends and family. Now when you do friends and family, it's very simple. All you do is tell the buyer to send it to you as a friend and family so you give them your email instead. So you give the buyer your email and you tell them to send you the payment as a friends and family or a gifted thing. And then once you receive the payment and it should say gift received, it doesn't say that, that means it's a payment and you should ask them to resend it or whatever. And this method has no fees but it also offers no protection for the buyer. That's why most buyers won't do it. But as a seller, you really want to do this whenever you can because it does offer you full protection. If anything goes wrong, then the buyer cannot get the money back. So this is why a lot of buyers won't agree to this. But if you're a seller, you really, really want to do this. Because after you get the money, you don't have to worry about anything stupid like chargebacks and all that stuff. And then finally you have goods and services and this is when you give them your email as a seller and then the buyer will send you the money and then they'll pay like a small fee because they are sending it as a payment. As a buyer, you get protection but as a seller, you're kind of on like a weird area because people doesn't know what is being like sold right here. So as a buyer, they can just like BS some fake stuff, say that you sent them the wrong item or you never sent them an item and you're screwed over. That's like literally how it works. You're literally screwed over. So I would not recommend using goods and services. Unless you're a buyer and the seller wants you to do this, then you can do it like this if anything goes wrong. So start the dispute and you'll get your money back in about like a month. Honestly, that's all you have to know. There's not too much to go like in depth about, honestly. It's very, very simple to use PayPal to buy and sell Supreme. So if this video did help you guys out, please drop me a like down below. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more videos like this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.